Hello, I'm David the Drunken Woodworker, and today I am with my beautiful lady friend Kelly, and we are celebrating five years together on the beaches of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And for that reason, the episode that you're about to see is a little shorter, and it was filmed a few days ago. Because of that, I missed out on a few videos. So a couple of videos that are not in the episode that you are about to see include uh, some cutting boards by MTM Wood, uh, a second Steve Ramsey video making a Viking chair, a salad bowl by Kyle Toth, a beer bottle cap tambourine by Steve French, and the walnut jewelry box with the wood whisperer and special guest Gary Rogowski. As you can see, we have a beautiful view of the Pacific Ocean here. So, Kelly and I, we're gonna go swimming. Enjoy the episode. Thanks. Hello, it's July 14th, 2014, episode number 28 of Weekly Woodworking Wrap Up Review. How are you doing? Today, got a real short, quick episode and I'm recording it a few days early. Usually I record this on Thursdays. Today is the 14th. Uh, it's a Monday. Um, that's because I will be in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico tomorrow, enjoying a nice vacation with my lovely lady. For that reason, I'm gonna have a very quick, short episode. And you know I don't like to skip a week. So I'm gonna start off this by trying to sell you something. If you don't wanna see me sell you stuff, fast forward about 60 seconds. Ready? Go. I just need some links. All right, so let's dive into some videos. This first video, Trestle Table Building Process by Duche and Wolf Furniture Makers. Man, this is a gorgeous table and it's all handmade. This video really shows all the work that's involved in making a table. This is a cool channel to check out. They don't show you step by step how it's made. They don't talk in their videos. They do show you what it takes from beginning to end how to make these beautiful furniture pieces. So this is a great channel to check out and subscribe to if you don't already. All right, next video. Flip Handle Ramekin Serving Tray by Matthias Wandel. You probably already subscribed to this channel because it's one of the best woodworking channels out there. This is a cool little serving tray and uses a box joint and a box joint jig that he made himself. I believe he has a video on his channel that shows you how to make this pretty kick-ass box joint jig. The wood he's using is just this beautiful figured maple that was salvaged from firewood. Thank goodness he saved that. It turned out gorgeous. The handle flips up and, and down and he's using a cool little wood spring that, that holds the handle up and then allows it to move down and out of the way. It's a pretty cool thing that I haven't seen in a tray like this. So very smart that man is, very smart. So that's the Flip Handle Ramekin Serving Tray by Matthias Wandel. Mm, mm, mm. All right, next video. Rock Shaped Walnut Box by Carl Jacobson. So this is a really cool little odd shaped box. Uh, I believe he got the idea from a fan. It's a real simple project that you can do on a lathe. Now, what I like about this one is it stands out from other simple little projects that you can do on a lathe. This is just a beautiful little odd shaped box that I would just love to have on my coffee table. So check it out, Rock Shaped Walnut Box by Carl Jacobson. Carl always has nice things to say to me and is a supporter of the show. So I just wanna say thank you, Carl, for all the wonderful stuff that you do for the entire woodworking community. Next video, make an Anirondack chair by Steve Ramsey. Steve makes and releases a video every Friday and this is a cool little limited tools project. Anybody can do this with, with a jigsaw and a screwdriver and, and maybe a couple other little tools. What I like about Steve's videos is that they are quick and to the point. There's not a lot of unnecessary talking, there's no unfunny skits or anything he's just he makes something he shows you how to make it and then there you go in this video he makes a mistake and he shows you that mistake a lot of times and i'm guilty of this myself well, i'll make a mistake and i'm like i'm not going to show that i think it's a good thing to show off your mistakes but somebody else is bound to make that same mistake that you are and why not prevent them from making that mistake by showing off what you did wrong it just reminds us that these mistakes are easy to do when assembling our project check that out make an anirondack chair by steve Ramsey. And last video, mini log chest by Make. Um, this is Jimmy Diaresa making a video for the Make 
channel. A couple weeks ago, we showed a Diresta log chest. It was a larger one that he released on his channel. This is a smaller one, and he's making it using the limitations of his bandsaw and the size of his bandsaw, and this is on the Make channel. So I highly suggest you subscribe to the Make channel and you subscribe to Jimmy's channel because both of those channels have amazing, awesome, cool videos. In this video, he's got a cool use of using magnets to keep the lid closed and the way he aligns them is pretty, pretty awesome as, as you can see here. Marks it with a Sharpie marker, closes it, that leaves a mark where the other hole needs to be drilled. Boom. Yes, I know I showed you the Diresta log chest a couple weeks ago, but I just wanted to show you this one because this one's a little different and it's on a different channel. So I wanted to highlight both of those channels. That about wraps it up for this week's videos. It is time for me to turn the camera off and go enjoy my vacation. Next week, I'll be back here in the shop for a full length video. Stay passionate and make something. To keep up with me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, and Etsy. And be sure to check out my website at drunkenwoodworker.com.